Good morning, Hyrule. Yeah, we're back again. After a, uh, a rather long stint off, I know. <laughs> but in fairness, I had quite an amazing uh, little vacation there. Got to saw more of my country. And uh, apparently not any of it included a grammar school of any sort, but <laughs> you get the idea. We had fun. Me and the missus. We really did. Uh, good stuff. And just to let you guys know in advance, in about a month's time, I should be going over to Canada once again. And uh, we'll be checking out the sunny climbs in that direction. Should actually be pretty good. So the time of year that I'm going to be going. Usually weather's okay. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully I can finish this game in the space of a month. I mean, it should be fine. I'm averaging, what, like half an hour a temple? So that should be fine. Admittedly, we are getting into the stage of things where I haven't really practiced. <laughs> um, basically anything. I am a very, very lazy speedrunner. More of a hobbyist than anything else. Hence the fact that I'm back walking instead of super sliding. Because, uh... I could... This is the wrong area as well, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. It's another good start. But yes, I, um, I never did master super sliding. And by not mastering, I mean I never actually bothered to learn it. <laughs> uh, but see, I'm, um, I'm a hobbyist in this, really. To the extent that I'm not interested in learning to speedrun the entire game, per se. My general interest sort of amounts to what can I do to make specific segments that I find uninteresting or annoying much, much shorter. So, like, uh, stuff like that, just figuring out how you can cross a little bit of extra distance in a gap to skip out having to go around bits and pieces like getting you know, through dungeons within seconds to get to the boss fights which are I'd say arguably the interesting parts of most of the dungeons I mean oh, for pity's sake really gotta relearn all my spacing for like side hops and things as well I keep doing that like side hopping or back flipping right onto the edge of something so I grab it <laughs> then because I'm already holding a directional uh, holding a direction rather. Link automatically grabs the ledge and starts pulling himself back up as I'm frantically mashing air going, no, let go, let go, you pointy-eared gimp. Well, yeah. that's oh, snowy. How beautiful. <laughs> yeah. But see, this little tour through this game is essentially me, I say, being too lazy to properly speedrun, just essentially cutting down things so I can get to the boss fights and the story, which are the parts I actually like. Do, do, do. I know this goes like pretty much against what the majority of people like about the Zelda games, which is, you know, the exploration and where else have you. But, uh, this is my... God, that's a pretty shot. I didn't intend that. But with the moon rising over the waterfall, that was... I like that, I'm keeping that. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's how I like to play. It's uh, it's very chilly in here, isn't it? Hmm. I can remember how impressed I was first playing this as a kid. It's like, you, you, you get told you've got to go back to areas you've been to, and it's like, okay. Backtracking, you know, it's a, it, it's a staple of games, at least it was in this era. And before, no doubt. It's like, okay, fine. Go back and see what's what. I like you go back to Kukiri Forest. And like, it's noticeably different. There's a different atmosphere. You encounter it at night time for the first time. You know, you're supposed to anyhow. And, um... It's like you encounter the giant Deku Babas. And it's like, bloody hell. This is a bit different. But ultimately, all you've really done is go somewhere and it's a bit dark. Let's face it, there's a couple of different enemies. That's, that's no great change. You go to Goron City, it's empty. That's, again. There's no real change now, is it? Let's face it. Then you come to Zora's Domain. And the entire atmosphere is basically changed. I mean, the place is... Bugger. That was the wrong one. The place is deserted, which is different. Much like Goron City, however, but there's a complete change of atmosphere. The place is frozen over. There's an entirely different, just a general, different feeling to the place. 
you know, it's like it is the same area, but it's uh, I'm not <laughs> I'm not articulating this very well. So I was just impressed as a kid, though. It's like yeah, I've been here, but it is not the same. Which is this feels like a new area. I mean, by today's standards, you know, slapping some ice textures everywhere and despawning the NPCs is that, that's nothing. But back in those days, it's like wow. There's been definite changes since I was last here. It created what they were going for, like the sense of time having elapsed. Uh, much better than the Kokiri and Goron areas did, I think. Because eventually we'll get into the uh, the Shadow Temple and such. But first, I've got to try... Oh right, it's doing this again, good. Good. You ever wonder what it would look like if you played... The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, on a PS1. Let's find out today. Yeah, for some reason the emulator absolutely hates the ice cavern. It's like a 50-50 chance it'll do this nonsense where it doesn't load the textures properly. Where it descales them as well. Weird. And big... Yes! No! Oh well, I'm through anyway, it's fine. Yeah, for those who didn't know, you can basically target the gate. Um... I think it's the third bar over, from the right. I'm so used to doing it now, I don't even count. But, um, you do that when the Freezard shoves you into the corner as it skates over to grab you. Aim down and to the left, and as soon as you see your hookshot beam go through the gate, release the hookshot, it will damage the Freezard, and for some reason, like, shove you forward at really high speeds. Enough that Link will clip through the gate. Which is uh, pretty awesome. Now again, if I could ever be bothered to learn to super slide, there's a way of getting... Bugger. Through this area. Without bothering to collect any of the gems. You essentially do... Uh, I think you need hover boots as well, actually, though. Actually, no, no, no. No, you don't. Not for the... Actually, maybe you do. You might do, actually. The idea is you perform a super slide while standing on one of the little ledges over there. Aim yourself at um, the red ice that's currently blocking our way further into the ice cavern. And again, the speed you're travelling at means you'll just go flying straight through it, more or less. Because a lot of N64 games, like, where things were joined together, it's, uh, it's like minute gaps that in various games you can exploit and Bugger off, for pity's sake. You can exploit the gaps. If you can get your character to move fast enough and such. You can... What the fuck was that? You can... <laughs> no, go away. Bloody keys. Right, I'm killing you. Come back here. Right. Dink. Hook shocked. Yes. You can exploit um, various things to get through those almost imperceptible gaps. You can understand why the develop <sighs> damn it. You understand why the developers never fixed them. At least not in the earlier N64 games anyhow. Because like, you know, under normal circumstances, normal performance, there's absolutely no way your character model is getting through that gap. It's only when the player starts doing various weird little things to force um force the character to move at speeds they weren't intended to and that sort of thing that they can the game freaks out and you end up flying through these gaps. A blue fire. Doesn't seem natural. Maybe we can use it for something. Yes, put fire in a bottle. Fire in a bottle. But first, check out these nuts. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. This is how I get around the fact that I'm too lazy to, um, do bottle quests. We be bottle duping now, son. We be bottle duping. I should only need two, shouldn't I? Let me think. Yeah, yeah. I need... well, I need three, ultimately. But there's, um... Go away, keys. Go away, keys. Yeah, that's what I thought. God damn it. No, I am. Son of a bitch. 
For some reason, those things give me so much trouble whenever they turn up in ice areas. Like, my timing is just completely off. I can never seem to get past them properly. But yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Need one for this. This, by the way, is the red ice wall that you can clip through using a super slide. There is actually supposed to be a way you can do it if you, like, jump slash at one of the corners just as a bomb goes off behind you, I think it is. This one of these doesn't have... It's got, like, really, really bad clip detection. I can't remember if it's the left or the right hand side though. So if you jump that just the right moment, the bomb blast sort of shoves you up and through the gap. You end up on the other side. But again, it's not something I've ever learned to do properly, so... I'm not going to stand here for like 20 minutes trying to remember... What the, uh... The correct... For pity's sake. The correct clip is. Die, monster! No, 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 no! Die, son of a bitch! This is the awkward part of this room, it's the ice floor. Adds like three seconds to everything you try to do. Which is a pain in the butt, it really is. Okay. Uh, you know what, just to make this more challenging for myself, I'm not going to use the ice block. I'm instead going to try and uh, do ground jumps to get to everything I need to get to. I should warn you all, this could get interesting because... Yeah, it's been like at least a fortnight. Possibly longer, actually, since I've played the game, and the last time I did a ground jump would have been when I was doing Dodongo's Cavern. Don't think that worked. No, I don't think that worked at all. No, no, it didn't. Uh, of course, no, I need to be Z targeting for a start. Of course, it's not gonna bloody work. There we go. I think we got it. Yeah, there we are. Okay, good stuff. I'm not going to bother wasting blue flame on this, I'm just going to line up like so. Attack, and jump flash. There we go. Now, uh, yeah, I'm basically going to ground hop for pretty much every other single one of these. Ground hop, ground jump. I know what I meant. That's the important part. You guys can remain clueless as long as I know what I'm talking about. Right. And go! Damn it. No. No. It was way, way too far away when I started attempting to roll there. Again, this is where the ice floor buggers you up. Yeah, I'm just going to backflip if I do this now, aren't I? Yep. Oh. Ho oh, ho. Let's have none of that, please, Sonny Jim. Yeah. That could have gone badly. Let's try this again, shall we? <clears throat> no. Damn it. I'm totally missed. <laughs> like my spatial um, awareness is completely buggered up. It's like I keep, yeah. See how you slide. You slide further away than I think you're gonna be. I say, apparently speaking to Link now. And uh, I get into like now. <sighs> no, because I'm on ice. The roll is like massively foreshortened. Right. Yeah, that's quite some distance. I'm trying to use the pillar to give me an idea of exactly how far back I am actually flipping when I do this. Right, so if I go now and roll... Nope, too late. I think. Actually, let's quickly try that. Was that too far? Yeah, that was too late. It's not always easy... Well, I don't think it's always easy to tell when you've done it successfully and when you haven't. Damn it all. I'm rolling, like, way, way too early. Okay. okay, how much distance am I getting, roughly? Oh, well, oh, you know, bugger it. That's not a good measuring stick. Okay, come on, we can do this, it's fine. It's not that hard. <laughs> well, it, no, actually, no. Really, it isn't. When you're on, um, what's the bloody word? Even ground, you know, non-slippy, proper ground, it's not. Don't, don't think that did it either, did it? I heard Link go, <coughs> which indicates he was probably hurt. No, okay. Perhaps doing it against a wall like I did over there would be a better idea. And, well, there we go. 
I'm pretty sure that was it. Like, locked in place for a second. Yeah, that's gotta be it. There we are. Okay. Yeah, I think doing it, like, against the wall is probably my best bet. Okay, that's fine. I need more blue fire as well, so I have to do one over here. Okay. And go, 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 go. Nope, game, game, nope. Okay, that was weird. Oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah, not even close. <laughs> I'm just wasting bombs at this point. Alright, let's try this again without cocking it up. There we go. Right, and... What the hell is going on with my controller all of a sudden? It's like I'm trying to move forward and the game just goes, nope. Oh, for pity's sake. Yeah, backflip, roll. Oh, okay. I'm running out of bombs, too. Okay, here we go. That should have worked. There we are. <laughs> I'm quite genuinely hope I'm going to have enough now. Uh, bottle, there we go. Legit bottle. I can't remember what... Is it bottle duping? I don't know why I'm asking this out loud. Is it bottle duping that basically gets overridden if you like save and reload? I should have jumped to that silver rupee instead of doing this, shouldn't I? Yes, I should have. Oh well. It's practice, what can I say? And hindsight is 20 20. Think of this as a great demonstration of how not to do this trick. <laughs> nah, no, I don't think that got it. Yeah, I can pull out a bomb still. It's also a good way to check. If you attempt to pull out a bomb and the game won't let you, you probably didn't get the trick. Buggering hell. Okay. I swear I used to be better at this. Let me get a missed. I used to practice this, which I don't anymore. There we go. And there we are. Of course, I gotta do it one more time to actually get up back onto there. Ah, uh, this should be fun. <clears throat> I hope you will enjoy the past, what, three or four minutes of me repeatedly glitching the game for my own amusement. I mean, I've had fun. Don't know about you lot, but I've had fun. There we go. I finally gained consistency right at the end. And really, isn't that all that matters? Uh, yeah. Don't need the hookshot for anything else at this point. Well, not in this area, anyhow. Excuse me, freeze hearts. That was that way. Couldn't remember if touching the red ice instantly freezes you or not. I remember this being a pain in the ass the first time I did it as a kid. I'm trying to figure out how close I could get to that without it buggering up. Oh, that. Here, puppy. That's our bad puppy. Link's bank. Nope. Too good for you. Right. Am I close enough to the chest? Probably not, actually. I'm miles away. Damn. Oh well. Like I say, lazy speedrunner. <laughs> More of a hobby than anything else. In fact, if I'm perfectly honest, I started learning uh, properly how to do this. Just because of the lovely Miss Abafai's interest in Ocarina of Time speedruns. I'd love to take her down to AG, uh, AGDQ one day or some such. We meet again. What? I mean, what? If you came here to meet the Zars, you wasted your time. This is all there is. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. With one exception, the Zars are now sealed under this thick ice sheet. I wonder who that exception could be. Probably someone we've met before. I managed to rescue the Zara princess from under the ice, but she left to head for the water temple. I've only got the one bottle, you see. This ice is created by an evil curse. The monster in the water temple. It's funnily enough the source of that curse. Who would have funk you, right? 
Unless you shut off the source, this ice will never melt. Free drinks for everybody. But, if you have courage enough to confront the danger and save the Zaras, I will teach you the melody that leads to the temple. Rock and roll. Let's do this. Time passes. People move. Like a river's flow, it never ends. Sorry, sorry. A childish mind will turn to noble ambition. Young love will become deep affection. The clear water's surface reflects growth. I'm sure it does. Especially where that deep affection is concerned. Now listen to the serenade of water to reflect upon yourself. It's metaphorical and shit. So joking aside, this probably is actually one of my favourite cutscenes in the game. You know, where the graphics aren't pixelated to... Uh, I don't know. I really liked like, the design of this room in general for a start, even though it is weirdly boxy for a cavern. You've learned the serenade of water. Good on you. What? I'll see you again. In a flashback. No, not really. But how great would it be if that was uh, an actual thing? Yep, time to drown myself. Guess there's no other way out. As the room turns blue. <laughs> what even is going on? How oh, interesting if the menu is actually working today, which... I, I don't even have words, I don't know. This is a thing that apparently is happening in my life now. There's always something going wrong. But the menu, today at least, is not one of them. Oh, thanks for pointing the way, guys. I appreciate it. I genuinely forgot where that room led out. And I thought, oh, wait, three Freezards facing that way. Which means the entrance is that way. Yay. Ah. Uh, that's the ice cavern. Did you enjoy it? Good. Hopefully I can complete the water temple much faster. He says, not entirely certain that he will be able to. Uh, I should still remember how to do bomb hovering, so it shouldn't be that difficult. Again, I may be. <laughs> uh, then again, I only ever really managed to do bomb hovering properly in Majora's Mask, didn't I? Because bombs don't work the same in this game. Bombs have radial explosions instead of instant explosions. Yeah, that could be a pain in the arse. Uh, for anyone wondering what the hell I'm talking about, um, in Majora's Mask, you drop one, it flashes, and when it detonates, the entire like area that is affected by the detonation is affected all at the same time, instantly. Whereas in this game, the area that's affected by the explosion is gradually filled over the space of about you know half a second. Which, when it comes to like bomb offerings, something you got to take into account. Well, I've come back to life. But if the dream will save me, don't be nervous. Look the drowned fish man. It looks like we have a hard time breathing underwater. Well, yeah, I've got no gills. Hold me down. Yeah. As an expression of my gratitude, I grant you this tunic. With it, you won't choke underwater. I'm not sure how uh, a top prevents that, but okay. Let's just uh, assume the fishman is not trying to kill us. More importantly, of course. New fashion, new fashion, new fashion. Yeah, we blue now, da ba dee da ba die. See you next time, folks. <laughs>